This is a summary of The Great Simplification, Nate Hagen's documentary, with some steps on what we can do as individuals to prepare for this radical upheaval in the 2020s. And this is my paraphrasing with a little bit of my flair, so I also highly recommend you watch the full documentary. It's only 30 minutes. So what is the Great Simplification? Simply put, we are running out of access to oil, the magic elixir that fuels modern industrial societies around the world and has connected us into a hyper-complex global system. These manufacturing systems are so radical they have completely changed people's lifestyles, and we are now dependent on these systems with no easy or simple way to exit. Additionally, these systems are so complex and large-scale that human beings are losing control over it in their own lives. Nate Haggins calls this the human superorganism. The superorganism consumes oil and is self-perpetuating and self-evolving. It becomes ever more hyper-complex, larger, and hungrier for oil. It's also self-destructive and is destabilizing itself as we speak. And this is because the superorganism only exists on the backs of human beings, and it is increasingly antagonistic, depriving, and damaging to fundamental human needs. At the micro level, we are losing the human tribe we once had that met our needs and created thriving, healthy, shared lifestyles. People are displaced, isolated, siloed, traumatized, homeless, addicted, overworked, falling into health crises, and so much more. The superorganism pushes people to become more materialistic merely to survive. Like an addict, be it opioids or food, they are damaging their bodies and deep spiritual well-being and depend on consuming more and more as it destroys them. Effectively, the superorganism is addicted to and dependent on oil that is damaging to its health and well-being. From the perspective of the superorganism, human beings are the cells and microorganisms being damaged and unable to heal the superorganism in its current state. More and more human beings are merely surviving and coping. Because this process is hyperbolic and exponential, it means it's speeding up and growing in magnitude. Finding new deposits of oil, extracting oil, processing it into materials and services throughout the circulatory system of the superorganism is getting harder and harder. The superorganism demands larger quantities of oil at rapidly faster rates and is now evolving so quickly that human beings can't keep up or make sense of what's happening to them. On all levels of human life, this increase in quantity is damaging and destroying quality, making it harder to access. Individuals who want to make lifestyle choices often find many Pandora's boxes. Trying to make changes reveals a deep underbelly where entire systems have evolved emergently to make it easy to make unhealthy, addictive, and disempowering choices, but increasingly harder to make the choices that would heal and free us. The oil singularity is not the superorganism running out of oil directly, but running out of access and crippling itself to death. In other words, the singularity is like a black hole event horizon. You have to run increasingly faster and harder to escape the gravity of the black hole, and if you cross the event horizon, you never get out. Crossing the event horizon is the superorganism destabilizing and collapsing. It simply won't matter how much oil is left hypothetically. Oil is a finite, non-renewable resource on human timescales. It takes millions of years to produce, and we are burning away the small amount we can access faster than we can blink. We have already begun the Great Simplification. 
Nate Haggins and some of his colleagues on his podcast have suggested we hit peak oil in 2018, and we are beginning to experience the ripple effects of the upheaval now. Many people in wildly different lifestyles, cultures, and locations from each other are being hit by downstream effects and confronted with making major, radical lifestyle changes. Once we learn about the Great Simplification, the question is, what do each of us do in our lives to prepare for and respond to this wisely? Is it possible to ride the waves of the Great Upheaval in the 2020s towards healing, empowering, liberating lifestyles, and foster new communities? These are the kinds of questions I'm asking in my focus on the projects and the research and the types of issues I care about. We need innovators, creative people, wacky designers, a strong dose of spiritual guidance, and a few mad geniuses to pull this off. My philosophy generally is to look for new and better ways to meet our human needs. Additionally, we all need to simplify and become capable of switching between scales of thinking. The three levels on the scale I've identified as most important are the macro theory of everything level, the tribe level, and the individual level. The great simplification is at the theory of everything level. Hypercomplexity drowns, disorients, and confuses us. We need to be able to translate it to the tribe level, forming groups that can take on shared, meaningful activities that make sense, empower us, and really matter. And we need to be able to translate to the individual level. You know, me in my own life, what I'm doing, and you in your own life. I'm moving towards my own individual and tribe-level projects. You can check out my content occasionally to see what I'm doing and if it's helpful or useful to you on your journey. I'll make a few recommendations I think the vast majority of people can apply in their lives and find some real benefit, regardless of your worldview or particular distinct values or the particular priorities that are most important to you. I think these four criteria are going to apply to the vast majority of people. Number one is consolidation. Replace materials with relationships. There are a lot of materials and places going to waste, not being fully used to their potential, that could meet many more people's needs at a much higher level. We also need relationships that are meaningful, trustworthy, and supportive. Find ways to begin consolidating materials in groups, sharing, bartering, and trading your time and work with each other outside of money, gradually creating a social ecosystem. Number two is health and strength. Health is wealth, and appearance is a consequence of fitness. Depth of life and your inner source of wealth can only be felt and accessed through a deeply physical life, not getting lost in the mind. The healthier and stronger you become, the more deeply, spiritually richly, you will experience life itself, and the more you will be capable of surviving and enduring hardship. Number three, minimalism. Cut through the noise, align with meaning. There is too much of everything in this world. Begin cutting down the quantity of stuff and things in your day-to-day -day life and exploring how you could live minimalist. You are seeking quality over quantity in all areas of life. This also means creating space and silence, cutting noise, and going through the adaptation or detox that comes with giving up addictive things. Number four is work with nature. Do a labor activity that works in and with nature. It will be great exercise, develop you physically, and give you a great experience adapting to nature more than just being adapted to modern industrial lifestyles. 
exposure to nature outdoors meets many human needs that people don't even know are deprived, like need for sunlight. You could also do work like this for a job to make some money, if capable, or volunteering to build new relationships. Lastly, apply this as a writing exercise. Take each of these recommendations and write freely about how you could make these changes in your own life. Let anything come up naturally as it does. Give yourself a time limit so you don't write endlessly and get off topic, about 10 to 20 minutes for each question. Don't bother being organized or writing in proper full sentences, just get it out as it is. When you're done, read out loud your answers and see what you notice, what you learn from it. This should spark ideas and realizations naturally that give you a place to start, solo action to take in your own life, events you can try, volunteering, or jobs you can explore. So that is everything. Start with those four factors in your life and watch Nate Hagen's documentary, The Great Simplification. And, you know, this is a journey. This is an exploration. This is something we are discovering as we experience it every step. There are going to be lots of unexpected things and pretty crazy experiences and a lot of bends and twists in the road. And that's okay. That's the nature of what we're going through right now. So... I hope you enjoy the adventure with me, and uh, thank you for being here. Your presence is a gift. Until next time, good luck on the path.